Two weeks prior to the test, all I did was study, study, study. And I prayed. I prayed so much, man. I'm a very spiritual person, man. And I was saying to myself, I was like, you know what, God? I can't do this without you. Please be there with me while I'm taking this test, man. So YouTube, what is good? Vinny Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I passed CompTIA's 501 Security Plus exam. Let's get right into it. Welcome back, welcome back. If you guys don't already know, my name is Vinny Matthews. Hit the like button for your boy. And let's get right into it. Um, I wanted to make this video to show you guys I'm a living testimony of passing this exam. Um, this exam is very passable, it's very doable, and I did it with no experience in IT at all. So how I'm gonna break down this video is, um, I'm gonna break it down to three parts. I'm gonna try to keep it um, nice and short and sweet. And I'm gonna just basically give you guys, you know, um, my prior experience to this. I'm gonna give you guys uh, what I, the tools and the tips that I did to take this exam. And I'm gonna give you guys the, um, my actual feelings, thoughts and feelings on the exam itself. So uh, let's get right into it. So today is August 3rd, 2021, and I just passed this exam on uh, July 23rd, I believe. Yeah, July 23rd, so that was um, two Fridays ago. And I had to uh, pass it um, either that week or the next week, because as um, you guys know from watching this, um, Security Plus has upgraded to the 601, and I took the 501. And for me, it was either I had to take the 501 right then and there, or I had to learn all the new material in 601. And um, I was studying for this exam um, probably um, in the middle of 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. And um, I was saying to myself, I was like, yo, man, I, I got to pass it now. It's now or never. And um, how I actually passed it, you know, it, it may not be the right way, but it definitely worked for me. And um, that's one thing that I, I, that I did learn. There's a lot of guys, a lot of videos that I've seen of how people would uh, pass their test. And uh, some guys would pass it in two weeks. Some people would just pass it just you know because they have prior experience to it. I have no experience in IT. Uh, before IT, I was working the hospitality business. I was bartending for the past, um, let's say, ten years. You know, and I was saying to myself, you know, I was like, you know, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. How can I find a way where I can not work nights and weekends, and I can make pretty decent money? And that's what led me to cybersecurity. My little brother was actually uh, studying for cybersecurity. He told me all about it. So basically through his interest into it, basically gave me the um, interest as well that, you know, hey, like, let me just take upon this field. And um, like I said, I have no experience. I don't know anything about IT, but what I did know was I did have a passion about, you know, configuring things out. I'm wondering how, you know, uh, you know, I guess systems will protect themselves against cyber attacks, how to hack and how, you know, basically just all around, just understanding what viruses and malwares are. I never knew what any of that meant, but, you know, I did have an interest into it. So I jumped right on it. So um, with the test, it's great to have, you know, your A plus certification and your network plus certification. But I came in the test. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to know any of that. I'm going to just go right into security plus. And I'm glad I did. Now, I'm not saying for you guys, you know, whatever route you want to take, definitely go for it. You know, if you want to take your A plus, go for your A plus. If you want to go for your network plus, go for your network plus. Um, because with security plus, they expect you to know um, some knowledge of both of the two. I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to learn as I go. And um, prior to the exam, um, I was just like, you know what, man? You know, this may take me a little bit while to get it, but I'm going to get it. And I'm not going to lie. So while I was studying it, you know, I was studying on and off for months because I kept selling myself. Um, I kept doubting myself. I kept telling myself, yeah, I was like, you know, I can't do this. Um, and it was just it was just so much to learn. You know, um, the first uh, source of material that I picked up was um, uh, Daryl Gibson's. 501 book. All right. So now we're getting into how I actually, um, what tools that I use. I use this book. All right. So, um, with this book, there's, um, 11 chapters and, um, he breaks, uh, everything down pretty much in a way where you can understand. Cause, um, he's not, you know, so even with that, you know, even before the book, I had the objectives, but I never really paid attention to the objectives. I was the type, I was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna just go straight into the book and then I'm gonna hop into the objectives. But, um, 
you know, I wish I would have, you know, uh, looked at the objectives first so I can um, be more aware of what to expect. But no, I just dive right on into the book with no experience. And um, each and every chapter has a test right after the chapter. And, you know, you take the test. And um, <clears throat> of course, before um, I was just failing all the practice test. And um, there's actually a, a pre-assessment test before you start reading the book. I didn't even take that. I just went right into the chapters and I just took all the tests and I failed. Now, before the test, I read this book probably about four or five times through and through. And then um, I got into the objectives. So once I got into the objectives, it gave me a better, clear understanding to actually know what was on the test. What I do recommend is, yo, when you do get the objectives, look, the, look at the objectives first because um, certain objectives um, weigh more in the test. Um, certain objectives are like 23%, 25%. Uh, cryptography is only like about 16% of the test. And I know a lot of people had a hard time with cryptography. For me, cryptography came pretty easy, but uh, my thing was uh, I was very bad at like uh, port numbers and network. That's one thing that I didn't really know, but I had to learn. And I made sure that I made, I made sure that I made an emphasis on learning all of that. So um, my first source was Daryl Gibson. The second source was the objectives. Um, third source um, that I started um, learning was uh, Professor Messer. I think everybody knows Professor Messer. He's like the king of all this on YouTube. I watched all of his courses through and through. If there was something that I didn't understand, I made sure that I watched his video and he broke it down. And if I, and if I didn't understand from him, I'll just go to Google and I'll type in whatever I need to know. So um, Professor Messer, he was definitely the, uh, my go-to guy anytime I needed to break something down. Um, so, um, you know, and like I said, throughout this whole time, I was going back and forth. This is like 2020 until right now. And I was going back and forth on the studying. And, you know, there was times that I would stop studying for like months because, you know, I just didn't want to study anymore. I was over it. You know, my confidence was down. And then um, I um, I was aware about the 601, but I kind of like put it in the background. Like, you know, with me, I'm a very, I'm a procrastinator in everything that I do. But um, what I did know was, Yo, um, 501 is about to expire. And um, after um, the month of July, I can't take the test no more. And I was saying to myself, I was like, yo, Ben, it's either now or never. You know, you're either gonna take this test and get it over with, or you're gonna have to learn um, the 601 um, exam. And um, I was saying to myself, I was like, you know, like, I, I, I gotta take it, you know, I gotta take it. So I finally uh, planned out the date. I was earlier this month, and um, I planned it on the week before the exam um end date because i was saying to myself i was you know what if i fail this week i still have the next week to take the test and you know and after the next week so basically i was preparing myself to take the exam twice before it expired because i didn't want to learn the 601 i didn't want to learn the new material i think the 601 is like 30 percent new material i didn't want to learn all that and of course i'm going to learn through it through, eventually through time but i was telling myself you know i was like hey i was studying for 501 so i'm gonna pass 501 now the month um prior to the test all i did was study i eliminated everything i eliminated you know going on dates i eliminated hanging out with friends i eliminated everything that i wanted to do because i wanted to pass like that's how determined i was and even though i was off and on on my studying for the past couple of months yeah i dedicated myself for those two weeks to pass now prior to the test uh, another source that i used too was um Professor Messer, he has three practice exams, um, and I use those. And uh, even before that, um, there's there's a couple of free tests that you can use. Um, Exam Compass has a lot of um, practice tests. Uh, there's an app that I use. Uh, let me check it out right now. It's called IT and Security. You can download it and they can send you uh, free questions every day. So with those sources, basically build up my confidence because every time that I took a test, you know, every answer that I get right, I feel more confident. Or every uh, answer that I got wrong, I would be like, all right, this is what I have to go back. And honestly, you know, on a Professor Messer's test, I failed them all. <laughs> I failed them all, man. But even though I failed them all, it gave me a basic idea of what to expect on the test. Um, these are situational questions. And uh, what, the way how CompTIA does it, man, they try to get you. They try to get you for sure, but they want you to think strategically. So, you know, I appreciate it because, you know, I, I got to use my brain power on it a little bit. So um, <clears throat> two weeks prior to the test, all I did was study, study, study. And I prayed. I prayed so much, man. I'm a very spiritual person, man. And I was saying to myself, I was like, you know, what, God, I can't do this without you. 
please be there with me while I'm taking this test, man. So uh, let's get right into the test. So the day of the test, man, I came and um, I studied. <clears throat> I studied um, the whole morning. I took my test like around 11 o'clock. I studied the whole morning and I prayed the whole morning, man. I went outside, I took my shoes off and I walked into the grass and I was just praying to the Lord, man. I was meditating and I was like, yo, please be with me throughout this exam. Cause um, um to the exam, yeah, I felt confident. Like even though I, I, you know, failed the three practice tests, I still felt pretty confident, you know, like, you know, with the power of God, man, like it's, it's no way I couldn't feel confident. So even if I, but even in going to the test, I was saying to myself, yo, even if I do fail, Yo, at least I know what to expect next week. All right. So I came to the test. I went into the center. I could have took it at home, but I didn't want to take it at home. I wanted to get the real experience. I actually went up there and, um, you know, um, signed in and I uh, started at 11 o'clock. I came a little bit early. Let me take it a little bit early, too. And, um, you know, of course, I had to um, empty out all my pockets, um, everything. And the only thing I could bring on the, the test was a pen and paper. And on the paper, I, tr I swear to you, I wrote, trust God. And then I took the test. And um, um, honestly, so they give you 90 minutes to take the test. It's uh, like 90 questions. I finished the test in like 45 minutes. And throughout the whole test, you know, I was saying to myself, I was like, man, I don't, I don't I, I, like I said, prior to the test, I felt confident. But while taking the test, I was like, man, I don't know none of this. And I, and I kind of did. I, I did know it, but you know, the way how they ask you about things, it makes you think. And um, for me, it was all about the um, process of elimination. You know, I feel like, you know, these answers, you know, doesn't, like I said, CompT is gonna try to trick you. And I was like, you know what? These answers doesn't match this question. So it got to me to basically pick through um, two two answers. It was like a 50-50. And I was saying, I was like, hey man, you know, it's, it's I broke it down to 50-50. Some questions are easier than others, but like, that, like I said, they'll definitely try to get you. So with that being said, um, any questions that I didn't know or I was just very shaky about, you know, I just kept looking at my paper and just said, trust God. And, you know, I, I swear to you, man, I put all my trust in him, man. I really did. You know, I, I put all my trust in God. And, um, in the end, like I said, I, I finished the test in like 45 minutes and I was saying to myself, I was like, you know what, Vinny, you took this test way too fast. Ain't no way you passed. But I, but I already, I already, you know, established the fact that I failed throughout the test. But I was like, it, that's fine because at least I know, cause I'm gonna be here right back. To, uh, you know, next week I'm gonna spend my three hundred seventy dollars and take the test again, and um, and then after the test, you know, they make you take a survey, and I was like, yo, man, like, <laughs> just just tell me I failed, man, just tell me I failed. But then after the survey, yo, <laughs> boy, when I tell you, man, I was overwhelmed with joy. Your boy passed. Your boy passed, man. And like I said, you only need a seven fifty to pass, man. I barely pass through the skin of my teeth man i swear to you man i cried your boy cried man because i was just so excited man because this is a, I'm, a, I'm a guy coming from no experience and if you guys really know the true story of what went on throughout my whole experience while studying to this test man you'll understand man like yo this was a lot it took a lot out of me to take this test and um you know i'm glad i did because you know one thing that proved to me like yo if i really put my mind through something i can really do it um, to, yo, put God over anything and everything, you know, if you put, you, if you put God first, man, anything is very possible. And last but not least, man, I was just saying to myself, I was like, you know what? This is a career change. And you're like, you deserve this. You work for it. So, uh, with all that being said, guys, I hope I, you know, brought some value to you, to this video. Um, I try to make it short. It's about, it's going on until about 15, 14 minutes. But, um, like I said, man, this is probably, this is, this may be not the right way to do it. This may not be your way to do it, but this is exactly how I did it. And, um, like I said, I passed. So all the links, uh, for all the resources would be down below. Let me know in the comment box what you guys think. And then to the next video, guys, if you guys want me to make more IT videos, I can definitely do that. Um, cause I'm definitely going to start applying for IT positions right now. So with all that being said, guys, thanks for checking me out. My name is Vinny Matthews and I'm out.